Hey everybody, the Banga's back. Welcome to part 2 of Let's Play Pokemon XD Gale of Darkness, brought to you by GameAnyone.com. Alright, it's time for us to head back to a Pokemon HQ, because we got Jovi back from Dr. Kaminko's lab. Of course it was willingly, she was not a hostage. Now I feel like a hostage because I'm stuck with her for now. <laughs> oh, hi mommy, we're back. Oh, Jovi. Haven't I told you not to wander away by yourself? No, Mommy, you don't understand. Big Brother was lost, so Jovi brought him here. If Jovi weren't there, Jovi bets he'd be crying by now saying he can't go home. Right, Big Brother? Oh, my, my. Jovi, you're such a brave and resourceful girl. But that's quite enough for today. Besides, Ada must be tired of waiting for you. Oh, my gosh, I was in the middle of hide and seek. Okay, big brother. I'll see you later. Bye-bye. And watch now he gets caught. Bonga, thanks for finding Jovi for me. Oh, yes. Professor Crane wanted to see you, Bonga. Go see him right away, please. Okay, I'll go see him. Alright, he should be somewhere around here then. Hey, wake up. Huh? Here. Here at the Pokemon HQ Lab, we undertake a great variety of research on Pokemon, from their ecosystems to battling. Oh, oh, it's you, Bonga. You scared me out of my wits. Good. I want you to be frightened every day when you come into work. Oh, he's not here. Alright. Where is he then? Okay, that's just like uh, where you can like change your Pokemon and heal them. Oh, he's probably in the same spot as before. Yes, I think he is. No? Okay. He's probably in this room. Oh, hello, Bonga. Welcome. I'm writing up a summary on the basics of Pokemon battles. Like I said, it's mostly basic information. But if you care to look, I've written my summary on the whiteboard. Oh, so it's just tutorials on Pokemon. No thanks, I'm pretty good at Pokemon as is. I'm not in competitive play, however, at least I don't suck completely. Some people may say otherwise. One cl on closer inspection, Jovi's attempts at makeup became apparent. He, he was putting on makeup while waiting for Jovi? Oh, okay. You do you, man. Where is he, anyway? Where did Professor Crane head off to? Oh, great. Both Plus the Land Mine are in my room. I did not ask for this. Okay, you say the exact same thing. Like, this is not a big place, and yet I still always seem to misplace where Professor Crane goes. And I went upstairs to look for him, but he's not there. Why that is, I have no idea. Oh, he went downstairs again? Oh, okay. Apparently I was supposed to talk to that uh, regular dude. That was just a flag. Alright, oh, now he's in that room that I thought he was. Hi there, Bonga. I've been waiting for you. I wanted to show you the snag machine. Has Aiden said anything to you about the snag machine? Uh, I'm gonna assume yes, because I know what it is. Oh, I see. Yes. Well, we named the special machine for s catching Pokemon the snag machine. The two of us, Aiden and I, were developing it. And now, it's finally finished. I'd like to begin testing it immediately. Banga, will you help us? Okay. Okay. Step inside, please. I should tell you, the snag machine is an outrageous piece of work. After all, it's used for stealing Pokemon from another trainer in battle. But, we didn't make this to steal Pokemon indiscriminately from trainers. Bonga, you've heard of Shadow Pokemon, haven't you? There are Pokemon that have been turned into fighting machines after having their hearts closed by artificial means. They're to be pitied. We developed a snag machine to take back such modified Shadow Pokemon. 
Why this machine is needed now, I can explain later. But for now, I'd like you to test our snag machine. After all, you're the best trainer at this lab. The snag machine is inside this case. Try equipping it right away, please. Okay. Oh, you just fit it to my arm. I'm one step closer to being a cyborg. Wow, it fits you perfectly. It looks cool too, Bonga. I'll also add a new feature to your PDA. It's called the Shadow Monitor. It lets you check data on the Shadow Pokemon you've encountered. Thanks. Okay, so I got 5400 bucks. Not bad. Thank you, Aiden. That's it, Bonga. That's spot on. From here on, it'll be a lot easier to just show you how it works in practice rather than trying to describe it. Let's go upstairs to the Battle Sim System room. Whoops! How silly of me! I almost forgot to give you these! In order to use the Snag Machine, you need at least one Pokeball. So, I'll give you these. Oh, thanks. Pokeballs aren't used in the Aura region, so we import them from another region. Okay, now we're set. Let's hurry over to the Director. Hey! Hey! W -w what's going on? Who are you people? It's terrible, Bonga! Some strange man came barging in and took off with the Director! Okay, well let me put a stop to that then. You were gonna be slacking off anyway. Dude, what happened to you? And again, you had a Sentrit, so I expected you to fail. The hell are these guys? Will you let go of me? Where do you think you're taking me? <laughs> I'm taking you to your new lab, Professor! What? My new lab? Move it! We don't have any time. If you don't want to get hurt, hustle yourself into the car. You people! What are you? Oh, yeah, he didn't stand a chance anyway. Hi! Huh? What is it, punk? You're gonna play hero and try to stop us? I don't show mercy to anyone! Not even kids! Uh, you're gonna wish you did, Naps. You have a Teddy Ursa! This should be pretty easy for my EV. Oh, the Snag Machine comes with a uh, scanner. Oh, that's a Shadow Pokemon! Bonga! The Aura Reader is responding! That's a Shadow Pokemon! Bonga, hurry! Throw a Pokeball at it! Okay. 11 plus? What, they have levels and decimal systems now? Alright, I'll just throw straight at it. I'm only just following orders. So I'm not gonna try to weaken it. I just got caught without a fight. There, battle is over. Eevee didn't have to do anything. What was that? My shadow Pokemon! Was that... Was it a snag? Yes. You're not even looking at me. Acknowledge me. Kid! What is that machine on your arm? Could it be... A snag machine? What the heck is that doing here? That's big news. Come on, move! I need to re report this to headquarters. Like now! Sorry, I failed to save you. My fault. Alright. I'm a failure. Professor's gonna die. Game over, everyone. <laughs> well, on the plus side, at least I got a Teddy Ursa. So that makes everything a little bit better. Jovi, did you lose a hide and seek? Wah! They took the professor away! Don't cry, Jovi. I'm sure Professor Crane will be okay. 
We've contacted the police and the proper authorities about Professor Crane. As if, you know, the police are not the proper authorities, really? They should let us know if they discover anything. I still can't believe that this is happening. Professor Crane predicted that someone will again try making Shadow Pokemon. His prediction was on the mark. Bonga, the Teddy yours that you snagged probably isn't the only Shadow Pokemon that was made. When the Purified Chamber is completed, we'll be able to save many Shadow Pokemon at the same time. But... Professor Crane is crucial to this project. Without him, there's nothing we can do. And he's like, no, you're right. Sorry. Let's complete it. We'll finish the purified chamber ourselves. Lily, the director's not here. It's hopeless. There isn't any possible way to get it done. You're on the verge of finishing. This isn't the time to feel sorry for yourself. The Purified Chamber project got this far, not just because Professor Crane was here. We got here because we all worked as a team. Having come this far, it would be wrong to stop now. Our pride as scientists is on the line. Let's finish the project as one. Things will get very busy around here. I'll go upstairs and check how the data processing is progressing. Jovi hopes the professor is okay. Jovi hopes he isn't hurt. Will he wait until Jovi gets bigger and goes to rescue him? Why do you talk in third person? That is weird. Oh, that's right. She's upstairs. Well, why does this music get suddenly so intense? The fighting is over for now. Oh, she's not in the sim room. Okay. Alright, so she's probably in the next room over here. This basic data should be fine now. Keep going with it. Banga, you came at the right time. May I get you to run an errand for me and Gaddy on port? We've ordered a special machine part for the purified chamber from the parts shop. Gaddy on port is due south from here. It's not far, but be careful. Jovi knows the parts shop. It's next door to Emily's house. Mommy, can Jovi go? Jovi wants to help everyone. Jovi, I appreciate your offer. I know you want to help, but it's an important component. Okay? Jovi, you're a member of the lab staff too. You may go if you take Bonga with you. Dear, would you mind going with Jovi? Can I say no? Okay, Mommy. Big Brother is Jovi's assistant. You have to listen to Jovi, big brother! Mom, why do you do this? Off we go to Getty on port! Banga, Jovi, both of you be very careful, please. I'm counting on you two. I'm so leaving you in the ditch one of these days. Is this what it means to have, like, a little sibling? I guess I should be happy I'm the younger one. Alright, no slacking off, okay? <sighs> if those horrible men come back, they'll come after me. I'm sure of it. They'll bring you back after they see how much of a slacker you are, okay? So stop fretting so much. Okay, so we do have a Shadow Pokemon with us, and over time, its uh, heart meter will start to open a bit more. Like, right now, it's tightly shut. But certain Pokemon of certain natures will actually be able to recover their heart gauge just by walking around. Apparently this guy has the pickup ability. So right now, it'll pick up some items on its own, but it takes a while. Hey! Banga! Jovi! Where are you two off to? Jovi's on an important trip to Gadion Port. Big Brother is Jovi's assistant. Huh? Banga's your assistant? Uh, you must be confident with such a good assistant, Jovi. Anyways, Banga, can we ask you to hold on to that snag machine and use it? There may be other shadow Pokemon out there. If you spot one, rescue it from the criminals. 
I'll make approaches to the authorities and other people to have Pokeballs available for sale at shops. There's more. I wanted to give these to you, Bonga. Crane Memo 1. Crane Memo 2. Okay. They're documents on Shadow Pokemon that Professor Crane and I compiled. Please read them. Okay, I'll read them with my back turned to you. Oh, you have to go to, like, key items to read that. Items, balls, TMs, berries. Okay, just key items right here. Shadow Pokemon are victims of criminals who use them for misdeeds. They must be taken from their bad masters and protected. The most effective means of taking such Pokemon from criminals is the snag system developed by Cypher five years ago. It is an unforgivable act among trainers to steal another trainer's Pokemon, but there's no other way to save Shadow Pokemon. The snag system was originally designed to steal any Pokemon from trainers. We must immediately develop a system that snags only Shadow Pokemon and nothing else. This is about the Aura Reader. It is impossible for ordinary people to distinguish Shadow Pokemon from regular Pokemon based on an appearance. In developing a new snag system, our biggest challenge was devising some means of recognizing Shadow Pokemon immediately. We solved this challenge with a headset device that senses Shadow Pokemon. We named this headset the Aura Reader. That's similar to what that girl in Pokemon Coliseum had, but she had the ability to see Shadow Pokemon just by looking. Alright, we're going to Gadion Port now. Oh, this music sounds so country bumpkin-ish. Wow, big brother! Look! Look! It's the sea! The sea! It's so big! Yeah, they won't be able to find your body in it. Listen! Listen! The part shop is over there! Hurry, big brother! This way! This way! Ouchies! Jovi fell down! I don't think legs are supposed to bend like that. Hey now! Where do you think you're going? Oh, sorry! Jovi is sorry! It wasn't on purpose! And look what you've done! You messed up the happening look of Zook, the coolest, baddest, and most happening guy around. Ugh, sorry doesn't begin to cut it. Your chin looks like butt cheeks. Huh? You there. Yeah, you, punk. You're with this munchkin, aren't you? I don't know her. What are you talking about? And it looks to me like you're a trainer. You look like you'll be a million times more fun than some munchkin. I'll stomp you flat with my shadow, Pokemon! Oh, it's a Zangoose. That's quite enough of that. Pokemon aren't meant to be used in such a manner. Choose your place and time. Shut it! Hey, meddling senior citizen! Take your preaching to someone who cares! Or do you want me to pound you, too? Mr. Verich. Perhaps I should... Huh! And who do you think you are? So now you're gonna play the man and stop me? This gets better by the minute! Let's see you try! Oh, Ardos is the name and he sends out an Alakazam! That would've been funnier if that was actually a Survivor. Oh, his Angus is level 28 plus. Yeah, I would not have been able to beat that. Y your power! Where does it come from? Well, he managed to trade with someone, so that's a start. You've done it now! Don't think you're getting away with messing with the great Zook! Remember this! Should I give chase? No, no, that won't be necessary. He won't come back. Leave him be. Yes, sir. Let us be on our way. Ah, uh, thank you. 
Oh, that hardly deserves such gratitude, my little lady. We only did what we had, to, what had to be done. Nothing more. Oh my God! Look at his ears. They look, they're such an odd shape. Oh, apparently you can like move around the C stick as well. I didn't notice that. That old man is Mr. Verich. He's supposed to be very wealthy. The people with him were really strong too. Wow, were they ever cool? Yeah, that makes sense. Like Verich, like very rich. I. I feel so privileged. I got to see Mr. Verich again today. That cute face. His adorable build. That's just his earlobes, d doll. Ha, ah, I feel faint. He bedazzles me so. I don't think you should be feeling so faint right next to the dock there. You might fall and drown, which is what Jovi needs to do. Let me go in this house. Oh, what should I do? My son says he's going to quit being a sailor, and he's adamant about it. Ever since he got an Oddish a while back, it's consumed his life. From morning to night, it's Oddish this, Oddish that. Wait till it becomes a gloom. <coughs> I decided to give up my life on the sea for a life on dry land so I can raise this Oddish. One day, I'll make it into a vile plume. Or a blossom would be great too. Whichever one I choose, I'll need a special item for the evolution to happen. Yeah, you'll need either a leaf stone for a vile plume or a sunstone for the... Blossom. I'm not gonna talk to every NPC I see. Jovi? Is that you, Jovi? Oh! Emily and Akri! Jovi! So, was you, Jovi, being harassed by that big, strange man? Were you okay? Yep! Strong people helped us! Big Brother was there too, so nothing bad happened. Jovi came here on an important visit. Big Brother is Jovi's assistant today. Oh, you must be Jovi's brother, Bonga. I'm glad we finally met. I'm Emily. Hi, Jovi's Big Brother. I have a name. Jovi has been a very nice friend to my daughter, Emily. That elderly gentleman's name is Mr. Farage. He comes here by boat with his two assistants occasionally. There's something mysterious about him, don't you think? He's supposed to be fabulously wealthy. Rumors like that give me shivers. I'm hoping to become a novelist. Whenever I come across anything mysterious, I try to imagine a story around it. Anyways, be careful in this town. There are lots of rough customers about. Emily, we should be going. Okay, bye-bye, Jovi. Yep, see ya, Emily. Going that same direction too. How come we never see them? Apparently they just disappear. All right, let me check out this. This is not the shop either. Jovi, when can we play again? Um, Big Brother can't run errands by himself without Jovi, so Jovi might not be able to play for a while. I hope Jovi's Big Brother will be able to run errands by himself soon. Wow, I'm right here, you know. I'm thinking of writing a novel with a character modeled after the much talked about Mr. Verich. Who is the mysterious gentleman that suddenly arrived in Gadion Port? At times, a generous tycoon, but his true identity, a swashbuckling thief. How's that for a story premise? Doesn't it get your heart racing? No, because according to Jovi, I can't read. <laughs> Anyways, I'm just going to head over to another building. It should be somewhere in the west part of town. Well, this one stands out, so this is probably the parts shop. Hi. Hi! Did you want something out here? The shopkeeper's out right now. He said something about having to go out to Dr. Kamin... Uh, what was it now? Well, to that doctor's manor is where he went. He says his grandson, Pear, will be back from repairing the rotating bridges. So I'm supposed to mind the shop until then. But I don't know where anything is or how to bring up a sale or anything. I have no clue what to do. I suppose it doesn't matter, though. It's really quiet here. I'm getting awful, awfully bored, really. Yeah, I should have said getting awful. You are awful. If you like, how about you help me while... while some... If you like, how about you help me while some time away? Um, that sounds like a real sentence! 
I gotta tell you that you may find interesting. When I was younger, I sailed all the world's seas as a navigator. Our world is huge, and this huge world is filled with an incredible profusion of Pokemon. Of all the Pokemon in our world, the one that I found to be most interesting is Eevee. Now, Eevee is a unique Pokemon. It can evolve into five different kinds of Pokemon, you see. Well, it used to be the case, but now, after Gen 6, it's eight Pokemon. While I sailed, I studied Eevee quite exhaustively. As a result, I obtained five items that there are the keys to Eevee's evolution. Oh? You say that you are raising an Eevee? What a fortuitous coincidence! This must have been meant to happen. Well, let me commemorate this occasion by giving you one of the five items. There's no need to be shy about it. Go ahead, choose one. Okay, so I can get a Water Stone to get a Vaporeon. I can also get Jolteon, Flareon, Umbreon, and Espeon. Um, I've had an Espeon and Umbreon for Colosseum. So I'm thinking, why don't we go with Jolteon? Yep, I'll just take the Thunderstone. And the weird thing about the uh, Eevee evolutions is when you use a Thunderstone, Firestone, or Waterstone, it can still learn moves after leveling up. You're so lucky, big brother! Jovi wants something too! Um, you're gonna get like a, an anchor tied to your legs and dumped into the sea at this rate. If you want to speak to someone from the shop, there's one repairing the bridge outside. That's who you should speak to. I wish someone from the shop would come back soon. It's not easy tending to a shop like this. Bridge repair? That bridge over the sea? That bridge moves when you step on a button in the middle. That's cool. The shopkeeper wasn't thinking straight when he got that clueless newbie to look after the shop. Now me, a regular customer, would be able to serve a customer would be would be able to serve customers a lot better. Maybe you should. Look, I can probably bring it to the register and that guy's not gonna do anything about it. Hey, I'm talking to you. The shopkeeper's not around today. The old man must be at Dr. Kaminko's place to get. It's a mystery to me why you'd be friends with that odd doctor who's involved in downright eccentric research. Reasons, I guess. Let me see what's upstairs. I might find some random items or anything. Striving for success as global engineers. Okay, it looks like nobody's in here. And I can't even raid the fridge, unfortunately. Oh well, I guess I'll just leave. Okay, so obviously that's not the bridge over there. That's just some random dude next to a boat. The sea is wide and its fathoms deep. So full of Pokemon it'll make you weep! Huh? What's up, kid? Were you captivated by my singing? I'll have you know I play second at the Krabby Club's music contest. I'm gonna say yes. Uh-huh. I bet you did. I bet you did indeed. You know how to bring a smile to my face. Move -foo 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 -foo. What kind of laugh is that? Like, what does move -foo 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 mean? Is this the bridge right here? Looks like it. Oh, looks like you just fixed it. That looks so clever. At least they put rails there. The water doesn't look deep, but I'd imagine if you can't swim, it doesn't matter. Phew! That's all that. All fixed. You want to talk to me? Yeah, the parts shop is ours. Huh? You need a machine part? Where's Grandpa? He's gone off to Dr. Kaminko's. Ah! My Grandpa gets excited over some mechanical thing. He's off like a shot. Never mind the shop or his grandson, me. I'll find the machine part you need. Can I get you to come to our shop? Again? Okay. Man, Grandpa should be so lucky to have a caring grandson like me looking after him. That guy's got some problems. Anyways, let's just use the Thunderstone before I forget. You know, I actually had thoughts that I was going to say, you know what, I'm not going to evolve the Eevee at all. And I'd be like, uh, yeah, I get too many people mad at me. Because Pokemon is serious business. But then again, I'll probably be mad that I didn't pick the Eeveelution that they want. You can't win them all. I had a 1 in 5 chance of pissing people off. 
Actually, four and five chance, but you know what I mean. At the end of the day, I'm gonna go with the Pokemon that I want. Well, obviously, Jolt. Why is it? Why is it so hard to choose the Pokemon I want here? Oh yeah, I started on Teddy Ursa for some reason. So yeah, I don't have any electric moves, but later on, once I level up, I should be able to get some. So I think now would be a good time to save. And in the next episode, we'll go back to the shop. And maybe I can check out other parts of this place. See ya everyone, thanks for watching.